There's so many fantastic topics being presented this session, it's hard to know where to begin. I think one of the most pivotal trials that has really intrigued all of us caring for patients with coronary disease is the Odyssey trial. For two reasons, one it shows that we can do even better with novel therapies to treat our patients with cardiovascular disease. And it also shows that uh, the lower the LDL or bad cholesterol, the better. Lower is truly better. Uh, and that the lower we can get LDLs, the better it is. And that in a high risk patient population, uh, patients with acute coronary syndrome, that despite the currently available therapies, despite high dose statin therapy, that we can actually reduce mortality and major adverse cardiovascular events substantially uh, with more aggressive LDL lowering. The ability for another non-statin therapy to really make a difference in outcomes in terms of um, all-cause mortality is really, really important. These results are really important because they look at the hard outcomes and now we know that these uh, drugs, the PSK9 inhibitors, have uh, impact on what matters most, which is reducing heart disease. Even for myself, a congenital heart disease doctor, as I look at my younger individuals and I start setting goals for them as they grow older, especially for atherosclerotic prevention, I think trials like Odyssey really show us that we need to start paying attention much earlier to get people under control and to really put prevention back in cardiology for younger people. One of the more interesting trials for me has been the VEST trial, which looked at um, efficacy of an external defibrillator in preventing um, sudden cardiac death after myocardial infarction. This trial impacts every patient we send home after a heart attack who may have a low ejection fraction. The trial studied 2,500 patients and they found that wearing the cardiac defibrillator actually reduced overall death in follow-up. However, the trial's specified primary outcome was reduction in sudden cardiac death and ventricular tachyarrhythmia, which the trial did not meet. Interestingly, before the trial was presented, the audience of physicians was polled and about 55% said they would not prescribe or use this device. And after the trial was presented, about 70% said they would not use the device despite the reduction in overall mortality after a heart attack. I think the most important topic being presented at ACC is biomarkers and heart failure. Um, even though we have made so much progress in coronary artery disease, valvular disease, we haven't made as much progress in heart failure. And biomarkers have really made an impact in the way we think about how we manage these patients. The STEMI study out of Cleveland Clinic that looked at how women were undertreated compared to men that presented with STEMIs, it just goes to show that despite us being physicians and knowing the guidelines that women are still undertreated for conditions like ST elevation MIs and once you protocolize things there's less gender bias. There has been a really wonderful emphasis on the importance of thinking about gender specific issues when it comes to the care of our female patients with coronary disease as well as patients who have pregnancy related cardiovascular complications and what the long-term implications may be to their overall cardiovascular health.